So in this episode, I want to talk about styling. So uh, really, what is a UI framework without actually styling your content? I'm going to show you how to bind certain styles and classes to your uh, HTML elements. So let's go to the top here and let's make a style block here and let's actually put it in the header here. And let's uh, make a few classes. So text red. Let's put color red. And let's make a green one as well. Okay. So now for this span, let's actually remove uh, uh, this age attribute and let's re replace it with color. And let's put text red. Let's copy this and replace the other ones with the same thing. And the last one, let's make it green. Now for each list, we can do the bind. So if you remember how in the previous episode, I showed you how to bind name, we're going to do the same with class. So we're all we're doing is binding a HTML uh, property or rather attribute. And let's just go item dot color. Let's refresh this and you can see that we're binding in color here. So sometimes you don't want to do it this way. Sometimes you don't want to store the, uh, what's called the class color inside your object. You'd rather apply a class color depending on what kind of object it is. So instead of color, instead of specifying our property, let's just say red and green. So we're going to remove the name of the CSS uh, class. And rather, what we're going to do is we're going to specify right. In here, we're going to say text red. And we're going to do it based on a condition that item.color equals red. OK. And this is comma separated. We can do text green is going to be based on item dot color equals green okay this looks like a little bit more uh, code and it is more but you know sometimes you don't want to be storing your properties here you rather you will just have something like a boolean true or false or for example if you have a shop and you're displaying a row of items and one item will have like it will be out of stock so you want to say like right how many items does this uh, product have and if the item is zero you want to basically apply text red and it's like or you, you know you want to gray the item out and you want to apply the class property that way and be because you're returning this information from the server you don't necessarily want the server to know what or the server to know or rather even specify what color the UI should display it. So if you have an API and you create a UI for it, you don't want to specify the UI on your API layer, but rather you want the UI to control how it displays based on the information provided.